Good morning, everybody. It is just past seven o'clock in the morning. I uh, had our first night in the house. Uh, we have a huge day today. We are heading down to Anchorage, which is about 50 miles south of this area. We are renting a U-Haul and we're heading to Costco to get bulk items, TV, furniture, bedding sets for the kids, the whole thing. So again, we have until Tuesday, it's now Friday, to get this entire house, which is basically totally empty for the kids. We have three weeks in the house before we get back to our overseas life. So it's not a ton of time. Uh, so we've got to take advantage of every single day. Basically every hour of the day, these shops are open to outfit this house as quickly as possible. Um, but we are starting our day with some coffee. We're gonna head down here shortly. We are using uh, Coffee Brand Coffee. Uh, if you don't know about them, they're a US-based company. Uh, this is a not sponsored video, but we do enjoy their products. They have a variety of coffee, organic teas, and cocos on their websites. And uh, yeah, they're great. They're US uh, owned and operated, and it is um, pretty good coffee. Coffee brand coffee, check them out again, not sponsored, but just delicious coffee. Good morning. Oh, you're awake. Reading, Hello. huh? Yeah, just reading the book. Uh, how was your first night in the house? Awesome. Yeah. I slept really comfortably. Me too. It's a comfortable, <laughs> yeah, comfortable bed. We got this uh, bed in the box thing from Costco. All this bedroom furniture. It's a bit messy here because we just moved in yesterday, kind of. We're still cleaning everything. Still cleaning. It's going to be a big day. I was just explaining that we are heading to Anchorage. We're hitting a lot of stops. It's going yeah. to be an intense day. Uh, to get this house ready for the kids yeah, that are coming yeah. in just a few days. We're going to have to work fast. Fast and furious. Fast but and furious. Uh, we'll start today with coffee. With our mugs we just got. Yeah. Ooh. Alaska themed. <laughs> cool. There's Alaska moose. Ooh, I like it. Yep. Excellent. Mm. Yeah, that's good. <sighs> Tasty. All right. Well, we are going to sit back enjoy this we are going to um basically drive the car that we're borrowing from our friends yeah. from fairbank um thanks to someone most for the car drive to anchorage pick up the u-haul maybe start at a bakery how about fireside bakery we need some food yeah okay we'll start at the bakery adventure. then we'll get the u-haul then we're going to at least hit costco for sure and probably a furniture store called saddlers we'll show you all the prices of the furniture uh what you can expect to spend if you are in fact outfitting a house or buying new pieces for your house here in alaska yep it's going to be a crazy day yeah probably an expensive day <laughs> yeah we're gonna have to do some measurements yep kind of figure out how big our house is or i don't even know how much furniture we can fit in it right right <laughs> if you want to see the tour of this house uh click the video right here that was from yesterday where we actually gave a bigger tour but you know yeah. one of the reasons why we bought this house we've been overseas now for about nine years going into our ninth year yep, we've lived in, in india we've lived in dubai we've lived now in indonesia for going into our fourth year and it's been a ton of fun the kid when we left america almost nine years ago now the kids were three and one and Forrest wasn't even born yet. Forrest ended up being born in Dubai. Yep. But we've been out of the U.S. longer in those kids, in our kids' lives than we've been in the U.S. So we just wanted to give them to start thinking about a home base. Like when you ask them where they're from, sometimes they have a hard time answering that. I would say they're definitely third culture kids, which means they grow up out of their outside of their parents' home culture. And it is a confusing question when you ask because they have... They're born in the U.S., they grew up part of their life in India, part of their life in Dubai, part of their life in Indonesia, and it is a loaded question. <laughs> yeah, it really is. So we just thought, now now that Granite, he, so we just, th there's some transition now. So Granite just finished fifth grade. He's going into sixth grade, which was middle school years from mm -hmm. the U.S. system. And we just thought, yeah, it'd be a good opportunity to give him that foundation, Cedar in Forest too, but 
just that foundation of what is home, where is our home, what do I look forward to going back to when we do travel to the U.S. and this Alaska house. And Granite and Cedar were both born in Alaska, so we do have ties here. Mm -hmm. um, so that yeah, that was the idea, and that's why we purchased this house. We're pretty thrilled. Uh, we only have three weeks in it, unfortunately, <laughs> before we go back to Indonesia, but we're looking forward to another big long run overseas. So you know, the other thing is we have a um, renter coming in. So while we're gone in Indonesia for the 10, I'm switching because of the light. So while we're yeah. gone in Indonesia for the next um, 10 months, we have a renter coming in. So they are going to maintain the house. They're living here full time, um, but we need to get them at least some basic furniture in, in yep. this house. Pots so, and pans, yeah, all, all types of stuff. All the usual stuff. So anyway, it's going to be a busy day. Uh, do join us. We're going to hit a few stores, look at the prices of everything and uh, get this house uh, turned into a home. All right, see ya here in a minute on the road. Favorite bakery, uh, still our favorite bakery. That place is still awesome. Still our favorite bakery. I got two things. Look at this. It's a sausage. Oh, it's like a poached egg sausage focaccia bread. Oh, it's just heavenly. I've had this before years ago. Really good. If you want to see our last video when the kids are really tiny, Alaska in the winter, we came here. That video is uh, right here. And we ate so many things. So many trip. things <laughs> from this bakery. And then I got some like messy tomato I called it a messy oh. tomato sandwich it's dripping with like balsamic vinegar yeah yeah it smells I delicious I also got a, I also got a ham and cheese for a little later because we're going to be out and about all day today so that'll be good a couple of coffees $37 uh for all the yummies oh but no I can, check this out yeah <sighs> that's going to be good messy tomato and sandwich you, you can see this egg it's just <laughs> it's still po it's like poached it's going to be a little soft and delicious so all right, we're gonna slam this then to the U-Haul dealership to uh, pick up the U-Haul and then we're heading yeah. to Costco, folks. Wow. For a really, really crazy day today. Yeah. Of shopping. Oh, that's gonna be delicious. Delicious, this might be dinner and mm -hmm. lunch all wrapped up into one. Oh. Perfectly cooked. You have the peppery rocket. Yum. With the balsamic vinegar and the cheese. I can smell your your sandwich from here. It smells awesome. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Okay, well, we're going to knock this out, have a little coffee, and then be on our way. See you here in a bit. Got the beast. 25 footer, 24 hours. Um, it is, boy, it is on empty. So I got to go to the gas station. But because it was on empty, I get a gas credit of like $42. Kelly's actually in front of me and we are going to go to the furniture store but the total price for 24 hours to return it to a different town 232 dollars for this 25 foot rv so i'm going to go to the gas station fill up just a little um and then uh we'll get some furniture and then we'll head to costco for the bulk of the video all right furniture store i got the big u-haul back over there sadler's furniture Whew. Oh wait, Here they are open, right? Oh, 9 a.m. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're okay, good. there's just not many cars in the parking lot, which is <laughs> perfect for the U-Haul. Uh, but yeah, we'll head in, we'll get some stuff picked out, get it purchased. We spent about an hour in there, hour and a half. Yep. Not terrible, Not bad. Um, but we did end up getting a bunch of pieces. So we got a couch for the upstairs by the fireplace. We got a couch for the downstairs, which will eventually be the family room with like a TV. Yeah, like we got, a big reclining couch. We got a TV stand. Yeah, we got a buffet table. Right, the kind of the one bummer is they aren't gonna be able to deliver it during this video. So we will show you all of that as a separate video when the <laughs> furniture arrives. But either way, let's get to Costco. All right. See ya. I got the big the big rig, which I thought I was gonna be loading with furniture, but after talking it over with the salesman, it's just the idea of Kelly and I offloading this thing, assembling a couch or deconstructing it to get into the house, 
reconstructing it, that's gonna be more than we wanna take on. So we did uh, opt for like the full service delivery, which is part of that cost. Um, okay, so now we are going to Costco. We are definitely gonna be picking up a bunch of household goods. So I am glad we still have the U-Haul because that's probably gonna include the kids' uh, mattresses. So let's head there now. It's a two flat cart kind of day here. The, the plan is to get the beds first. So these three twin beds, one for granite, forest, and cedar. Granite and forest splitting the green room, cedar taking the purple room, but we'll see where they all end up for just kind of this summer. So there's already, in a typical Costco fashion, like many, many things I already want to throw onto this cart. All right, well, uh, interesting news. Uh, the Costco here in Anchorage, and there's two of them, both are out of the twin mattresses. They got the box springs, but no mattress. So uh, we're not that cool to the kids. So what we're gonna do instead is we'll pick up beds either at Walmart if they sell them, which I don't know, or there's a, like a mattress store up in the town we're living at in the Matsu Valley. So we'll uh, check there today. But in the meantime, we will load up on all the other essentials uh, here from Costco. Bummers about the beds. That would have been know. the easiest, but uh, that's all right. So be it. <laughs> We have our big U-Haul. Yes, yeah, so we have the U-Haul. There's nothing it in it. Yeah, we, we so the, used it yet. The idea of the U-Haul was that the Saddler's furniture was going to go in the U-Haul, but definitely after really thinking about it, we were like, yep, let's have They're it delivered. They're going to deliver and assemble for and us. And assemble so and better. haul away. Yeah. So there's that. Uh, the beds, no dice. So we'll uh, we'll see yeah. what we can put in that U-Haul. Hopefully something. I think something. we can fill part of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, plus we'll check the mattress store in, in the Matsu Valley. So, okay. Yeah. Let's uh, head back to the front. We will start grabbing other items for the house, which includes a TV. Yeah. I'm excited. ATV. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, good times. All right, we'll start over there and weave our way and just load up these. Uh, I think we'll still keep the flats. I think we're going to use them. I think so. All right. Yeah. There's we'll, lots uh, of items. Lots of items. All right, so we'll uh, we'll move on and go go grab some stuff at the front of the store. All right, so first up is the oil and industrial racks. We need at least five, five to ten of these to fill our basement and our garage. Um, the thing is, they're kind of big. Uh, the box itself is really long. Um, 83 kilos or 183 pounds so I'm gonna need Jonathan's cart to get these but we definitely are gonna load up on these because we need to line our garage for all of our outdoor gear and our basement um, for food storage and stuff like that all right here we go we're gonna start outfitting we're just gonna grab and go so it begins <laughs> kitchen aid drying rack $29.99 all right, glass uh, storage wear, uh, $24.99. Blue queen size, uh, 680 thread bed sheets, $69.99. So we're gonna grab some towels for when the kids show up, and those are $6.99 each. And this is a two, uh, two washcloths, two hand towels, and we need, so we need two of these, and they are $10.99 each. All right, we're gonna get a roll out lounger because Kelly's mom's gonna be in town and she's gonna take over Cedar's twin bed, assuming we can find a twin bed. And I figure she's gonna sleep with the boys. So we're gonna get her this roll out lounger, $49.99. All right, we're gonna get the two pack of memory foam pillows, $32.99, followed by a few other pillows for granite, cedar, and like house guests that come. Uh, these are much cheaper. So these are $15.99 for a two pack, $15.99. So we'll get the queen set there kitchen towels eight pack on sale for $13.99 we are going to get these entryway mats so this we're going to get three of these for $14.99 this is for the inside of the house by the front door the inside of the house by the laundry room the where is this one going Cal the third one that's going to go indoor sl sliding patio. glass door off the kitchen yeah. okay so yep. three of these $14.99 each we're going to get two of these $13.99 each this is for the front door outside this is for the back door outside downstairs. All right, we are gonna get a pack of replacement light bulbs. This is $12.99 for six. We're gonna get that one over there, $9.99. Those round, more round ones, we have both in the house. And it looks like this is a six pack as well. All right, thinking about safety, we're gonna get a fire extinguisher. It's on sale for $29.99. What'd you find? All right, Kirkland brand trash bags, 200 count, 13 gallon, $18.99. All right, Ziploc bags, variety pack, $18.39. Kirkland brand stretch wrap, $13.99. The foil, $29.99. We're gonna grab some parchment paper too. I don't know the price of that. $13.79 for the parchment paper. Okay, so we are gonna get this buffet table to go in our kitchen dining room area and it is 
$99, so $600. All right, the 65 inch Samsung TV is $899. Let's keep that one between us. So we have a train of cards here. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh my goodness, it's yeah, crazy. it's insane. And it's a it's like insane. typical Costco, man. This crowd is nuts. And it's the Drina work week. Yes, yeah, Friday. It's Friday not even Saturday or Sunday. Day. We came strategically <laughs> today to avoid like this nightmare. But uh, we did not avoid it. No, and we just caused more congestion. More congestion, yeah, with our one, two, three, four, five carts of stuff. Wow. The total bill. Drop a comment down below what you think uh, our total is going to be. It's going to be, I, I will probably cry soon, but uh, we're, we'll get it done. Welcome to Lowe's here in uh, the Matsu Valley. We are going to grab some more industrial stuff. I mean, this is like a wonderland paradise <laughs> of homeowners. stuff that we want to buy. <laughs> so we got to get a little bit easy. But, uh, you know, I found out our dryer is not connected to the wall. This piece is like just sitting there. So the dryer was venting into the laundry room so i gotta fix that no idea how but i'm gonna Already. figure it out first house project first house project i do want to get an american <laughs> flag but uh we're gonna hold off on that just for a little bit uh but we are yeah we got a list a shot back the garage just, there's a lot of stuff so, so we will go through lows kind of show you what we get as an add-on to this like buying stuff for the house video so i solved this dryer problem i, I talked to a total stranger and he was super helpful so this piece that i had here it's actually it spins and it's part of a 90 degree four little ridge uh section so i got i found a new one of those so i got that piece so i should be able to take the old pieces off put this on i got the flu tape as well this is crazy expensive it's like 20 bucks for just a little bit here uh kelly got a bunch of like brooms and push brushes for the garage Let's see what she's working on over here What'd you find? Ah, uh, found shop towels. Oh, perfect. Yeah, six pack. Uh, those will go in the garage. I love it. Yeah, we'll just keep They're like heavy there. duty paper towels. They're like three forty nine. Okay, and this is a six pack for twelve ninety eight. I see it right there. Oh, okay. Perfect. Okay, yeah. throw that oh, in. Oh, that was a single. Yeah. Yep, and then let's go. Maybe some shop shop rags as well. Garage rags. Yeah, you like this one or? 24, 12, 39, 12. Let's get these. You okay. get more of them, and they're cheaper. Perfect. Perfect. You can't have too many little Cleaning disposable stuff, yeah. sort of towels. Cool. All right. Awesome. We continue on at Lowe's. 25 foot measuring tape, $9.98. All right. 18 piece screwdriver kit on sale for $19.98. Moving right along, I grabbed um, a variety of uh, like a like a electric screwdriver and impact. I got this bit, bit kit, scissors, stud finders, levels. Kelly got a tool bag for me. Yep. Shot vac is huge. That's exactly what we need. <laughs> so we're getting to the end of our. Oh, by the way, quick shout out to Liam. Uh, if you're watching, man, thank you a ton for the help. And I hope you get overseas uh, with your future travel. It is 11:45 at night. It is basically almost midnight. I can still see some blue skies out there. So land of the midnight sun here in Alaska. <laughs> uh, you have to let us know. Do you want more of these house videos? We have like a ton of work to do before we go back to Indonesia. So right. if, you, if you're liking this kind of stuff, the kids will be here soon. So I know probably many of you are wondering where they are. Again, they're in the Midwest uh, with uh, Nana, but they will be home, Kelly's mom. They will be home here in Alaska next Tuesday. That's just in a few days. Yeah. So we still have a ton of work to do to Getting get the house ready. Getting everything ready for them as yes. much as possible. Let's talk about cost, uh, total amounts. It's it's pretty astronomical. <laughs> yeah. uh, at Sadler's here, Kelly, you want to be the calculator? Yep, calculator. All right, there you go. All right. Okay, so at Sadler's, we spent for the furniture, a bunch the of furniture, furniture. Yep. $9,488.91. Okay. All right, that plus yes. couches and coffee tables and just so much. Table, yeah. Okay, the Costco total bill $3,140.84. Okay. All right. And then we bought three, we did not film this one, we bought three little kids' beds for Granite Cedar and Forest. Total price there for the beds and the frames and all that stuff, $1,289.94. Okay. All right, and then Lowe's, what you just saw, we spent $635.80. 635 and 80 Yes, that is correct. Okay, so anyone want to guess the price? Guess uh, <laughs> down below in the comments, but the total price is, Kel? 
$14,555.49. Yeah, that's uh, quite incredible. Um, the, the cost of everything today, especially in the USA, very, very expensive. Uh, yeah. But we got quality furniture. We got quality. Yeah, and we bought everything new. So if if you're outfitting a house up here and you can't, you need to save some money, there's always secondhand stuff. There's Marketplace. There's Value Village and stuff like that. So... Yep, this is true. Well, uh, the the train <laughs> continues on. Tomorrow will be another day. We'll see what the adventure brings. I think tomorrow is going to be a lot of uh, house cleaning, putting stuff away, wiping down counters, just the whole thing yeah, with that. Yeah, we have a lot of cleaning and organizing. Yeah, that's going to be a big yeah. part of the day. All right, everyone, listen, we appreciate it. We yep. are building an entire Alaska playlist along with all of our international travels, which we're going to be getting back to here very soon with the kids. <laughs> so please do like and share this video for anyone who's moving to Alaska, who's curious about Alaska furniture prices. If you subscribe to the channel, it will definitely help us grow. It's the best way and easiest way for you to support everything we're doing here with the Backpack family. All right, we'll see you in the morning. Good night, everybody.